Hello, it's Melinda and today we are going to continue our series about baby bearing and we are going to talk about how to learn baby bearing. So let's go. I would like to first of all tell you that this is the international version of this video and what do I mean by that? Um, I mean that if you are looking at a specific country or a specific place and how to learn baby wearing there, then I can tell you immediately different groups to go to perhaps and very specific things, how you do it in your country. This video's goal is to give you a general picture on how to learn baby wearing no matter where you are in the world. For country specific content about the Netherlands and Hungary, I'm going to make two other videos and uh, you are going to see them on this channel. So, wherever you are in the world, this is for you to learn. And I'd like to start with my own story, how I learned baby wearing. I decided to do baby wearing because I thought that it was really nice to keep my baby clothes. I felt that it's very natural that after a baby is in my womb for nine months, I would carry him close to me for as long as he wants to be that close. I didn't give it a second thought actually. I googled a little bit around, I looked at my friends, I saw a carrier that they used, actually it was just a stretchy wrap. I went to the shop, I bought it, they did give me some advice as of how to use it, but um, yeah, my baby was still in my belly, I did it once in the shop, I went home. Once my baby was born, I wanted to use it and it was really difficult to remember what they told me uh, in the shop and I was again asking around and someone helped me to put it on a little bit but I ended up watching YouTube videos and doing it all myself and after quite some practice I remember that the baby was always very comfortable, my son loved it but it was a bit too high, a bit too tight for me, it was always safe but I tend to make it a little bit extra secure and not so comfortable for myself. My, when my son was a half year old, I decided to become a baby wearing consultant myself because by that time I was really practicing a lot and I fell in love with the whole idea of how baby wearing supports um, the natural development or a natural psychological development of a baby and how baby wearing supports uh, mom's postnatal depression, which I was struggling with. I fell in love with the topic and I went to learn how to do it. During the course I had many aha moments and I thought mm, it would have been very nice if someone showed it to me. I would have spent an hour on learning the basics and I would have saved myself from a lot of trouble. Having said that, not everybody has access to a baby bearing consultant who is a specialized person who can teach you to do baby bearing. So let's have a look at what we can do if we want to learn this. There are going to be three major things that you need for to learn baby wearing. First of all, a carrier of some choice. Secondly, a technique, how to use it. And thirdly, the practice to use it simply. Um, it's interesting as, uh, to think about why would you like to baby wear or as whom would you like to baby wear. Maybe you're a mom. I think that's what most of us would think about when it comes to baby wearing. You're a mom or you're a dad, perhaps a grandmother. But it could be that you're watching this video because you have a daycare center and you would like to offer it uh, baby wearing as, uh, as an extension of your services. It's all really good, uh, but you will have to look out for, you know, what you would like to do with baby wearing and choose a carrier accordingly. I will make a video, a dedicated video on how to choose a carrier, so I'm not going to talk about that so much, but you will have to choose something that suits your purpose and suits your body and your baby's age. Having said that, maybe you already got a carrier, no problem. We are going to work with the situation that we have at hand. You have a carrier or you choose something that suits your situation. Just think about it if you have the time to actually choose. And then you're going to look for a technique. A technique that suits you. If you have a buckle carry, such as this one, I'm going to show you one so that you know what I mean. And at this point, I'd like to tell you that the carriers I'm going to show you uh, to demonstrate my point in this video were given to me, gifted to me by Lilliputty Baby Wearing, a lovely Hungarian brand. 
Um, this is a buckle carry. A buckle carry because it's got buckles. You don't have to tie anything. It's just two clicks and your baby is in it. So with this there isn't much technique to learn just to practice a little bit how it works. Uh, having said that you might have a um, long woven wrap uh, that you really have to know and learn how to tie. It's not a problem but you will have to find the right technique for the right carrier. Thirdly you'll have to practice. Now how do you practice baby wearing? That's very interesting because uh, the first and most important thing is you never practice with your baby. If you're new to baby wearing, even if you bought a buckle carry, do not put your baby right away in. First you practice with a stuffed animal, with a doll, with a soft pillow, whatever. And when you're really really sure that you know how to do it, then above a soft surface like a couch or a mattress you can start practicing with your baby. Obviously it has safety reasons but also babies don't like it when we practice with them and I think we can all imagine that someone put us into a carrier and uh, you know we have our dignity, we have our integrity, babies do have that too um, even though gravity um, doesn't really allow them to move so much when they are just born it doesn't mean that we can you know use them for practice over and over again unless they really enjoy it. It can happen although I've never really met a baby who really enjoyed uh, practicing small babies. Um, having said that the three major points is this, your carrier, your technique and your practice. What do you need to look out for? Two things. First of all, carry ergonomically and I'm going to make a separate video only about ergonomic baby bearing but that in short means that your carrier supports your baby's current natural development as well as it supports your body to carry that weight. It shouldn't be uncomfortable for neither of you and it shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't be taxing for you especially and of course ergonomic baby wearing will mean something about uh, will say something about the spinal cord development of your baby and the hip position as i said i'll put it in a separate video but so you look out for that you can do baby wearing ergonomically that means that either you look at your carrier whether it's an ergonomic carrier because on the market there are many different ones and not all of them are ergonomic uh, or it means that if you have to create the position for your baby, you look out for that you do it in a way that it's ergonomic for the both of you. The second uh, thing to look out for is of course safety. That's actually quite easy because almost with all carriers there is going to be a little booklet of some sort uh, with a safety checklist as well as on the internet. There are many safety checklists. I'll I think even put it in this description below. I put a link to my website with the safety checklist so there shouldn't be an issue you have to keep to that at all times it says things about that the baby has to be able to breathe freely that you have to be able to monitor your baby etc etc so you always have to look out for safety thirdly where do you learn baby wearing so we are talking about how to do it we have an idea what we need but where do you learn it Obviously you can learn it from the internet, you can do it alone like I did. Um, I would not recommend it because I think it would save you from a lot of trouble if you have someone to help you. Having said that, you're all over the world. You might be in a little village somewhere in, um, I don't know, in Africa or in Finland where there aren't many baby bearing consultants or baby bearing groups. So I would say that if you're keeping to this video, carrier, technique and practice and you look up videos um, there are many on YouTube for example I think most of you who are interested in baby bearing a bit came across uh, the videos of Heidwig a lovely uh, Dutch baby bearing consultant who makes tons of videos about all sorts of carriers and wrapping techniques and you can really keep looking at it and then your mind is going to start to learn how she moves and as you practice with something you can eventually learn baby wearing with a little bit of theory from videos like this and uh, from reading you can put it together the next option 
is if you have a group of people who do baby wearing, so some kind of baby wearing club, or um, I know that there are many in Hungary. I know that my colleague, Dr. Rosie Knowles, does an amazing job in the UK, in the Sheffield area, to set up peer support groups for baby wearing. Um, and there you can meet other moms as well as certified professionals who will help you to learn it. So you really have to ask around, Google around, who can help you. It could be that baby wearing is something that's traditional to your country and people know it in your family. Um, of course, that's a really lovely way to learn if your sisters already have a baby, for example, and she can help you or your mom can help you or even, you know, your grandfather. I mean, I don't know who carries uh, in your family or in your area, but of course you can learn di directly from someone who is your peer. Thirdly, of course, is the baby bearing consultant. Now, this is the chicest way to learn and also the most efficient, I think, and perhaps the, the best, maybe, I, I dare to say. Baby bearing consultants are professionals who are going to be trained to do ergonomic baby bearing, to be able to teach ergonomic baby bearing. And what you can expect from them is a personal advice on how to use the carrier of your choice or the carrier that you have and how to work with it and you know that's really an advice for you they are looking at how you move your body your hand how you tie that wrap or how you put on that buckle and they are going to tell you specifically how you can do it the quickest best way possible this is a profession on its own we, I am a baby wearing consultant officially, we are certified and um, I suggest that you look up in your country baby wearing schools if you would like to find a professional and usually there, there aren't many per country so they will also list their own consultants. That's a good way I think to go if I have to give you one international approach. Okay, um, I talked to you a little bit about everything uh, let's just run through it. For baby wearing, you'll need a carrier, a technique and practice, 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 practice. Um, it's going to be in your muscle memory, much like driving. It seems to be a bit daunting maybe in the beginning, but I promise you that after you've done it a few times, you are going to do it basically by yourself. You don't really need to think about it and it can become an integral part of your life. Uh, that doesn't require a second thought, but it will make your life so much easier. Also, I'd like to say one word about the baby wearing might not be for everybody, but please don't think about it as um, necessarily an uh, extension of a certain parenting style, such as attachment parenting, because baby wearing can help you, whether you are a daycare professional, whether you are a parent, a grandparent, even if, you know, maybe your baby has colic, it can be beneficial. Maybe you just would like to have your hands free. You don't necessarily have to have a great big philosophy behind it. You can. Baby wearing is an amazing tool. It's a, a very versatile tool and it is relatively easy to learn. You just need a little bit of knowledge and structure. And I'm hoping that I could give you that with this video. Don't forget to push the like button if you like this one and subscribe because there is more coming your way about baby wearing and how to learn it and how to approach it. And if you have a, a grandma or a granddad who is not convinced yet, feel free to share this video. Let's talk about it. Let's have a look at what we can do with this baby wearing thing and how it can help us. For more videos, um, follow me on my socials and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Bye guys.